Mexico's new law now classifies as therapeutic the psychoactive ingredient in marijuana, tetrahydrocannabinol, better known as THC. Margarita Garfias has been waiting years for this moment. Her son Carlos has suffered epileptic seizures all his life. THC in cannabis alleviates his convulsions, making life easier for both of them. It puts us on a par with our neighbors, the United States and Canada, countries that regulate the medical and scientific uses of marijuana. Now chronically ill patients have the right to get the health care they need. A few years back, public opinion polls indicated that most Mexicans opposed such a law, but the controversial measure easily passed both houses of Congress. Mexico's lower house overwhelmingly approved it in late April, but Mexican President Enrique Peña Nieto waited more than one month, getting past tight state elections before making medical marijuana the law of the land. Opponents say their country has come a long way on this issue. Since late 2006, Mexico's war on drugs has cost their country an estimated 100,000 human lives. We have broken a taboo. Until recently, marijuana or cannabis was considered an evil plant. It was stigmatized and despised. Now, all will recognize it has medicinal and therapeutic properties. But in Mexico, recreational use of marijuana is still a long way off. Mexican law permits one ounce of marijuana for personal use. Here in the capital, that has led to the opening of several smoke shops. And now that Mexico has legalized the medical and scientific use of marijuana, there are those who believe that the next step will be to legalize its recreational, personal use. On the border to the north, the U.S. state of California will make recreational marijuana legal starting in January 2018. That's expected to place economic and political pressure on Mexico to do the same. Frank Contreras, CGTN, Mexico City.